Since April, a Ukrainian unit has shared a number of short videos showing a small mortar capable of firing 40mm grenades. From their patches and TikTok username, 16BATZSU, the men's unit appears to be the 16th separate rifle battalion. They appear to be part of the battalion's embedded fire support element and are seen operating large mortars and automatic grenade launchers in numerous videos. On the 11th of February, 16 Bat ZSU shared a video showing a small mortar with a stainless steel inset seen dropped into a small handheld mortar. The same video was shared on their YouTube account under the title New Toy. While the resolution of the video is low, it clearly uses the same barrel sleeve principle seen in later videos. In replies to comments, 16 Bat ZSU explained that the small mortar has a range of 2 kilometers and is 30 mm in caliber. That suggests that the weapon may launch 30 by 29 mm VOG grenades, normally fired by AGS automatic grenade launchers. Unlike the 40 mm mortars, it doesn't appear to have a bipod and its base plate appears to be different. No further videos featuring the 30 mm mortar have been shared. The first video providing a close-up look at the 40 mm mortar was shared on the 26th of April with the small mortar in a pit next to an 82mm mortar. We can see that the mortar uses a 40mm high velocity grenade, which is slid into the base of the rifled steel barrel sleeve. The loaded sleeve is then dropped into the mortar tube. The grenade's primer presumably strikes the mortar's firing pin, and the grenade is ignited, firing it out of the mortar. The sleeve remains inside the tube. In terms of size, the small mortar looks similar to the Ukrainian 60mm KBA-118. However, the base plate, bipod and tube differ. Despite similarities, I've been unable to find an exact match to a mass-produced mortar. The weapon appears to be well made, and the examples seen in the videos appear to be near identical, suggesting they may be locally developed and produced. In the video, the sound of the rounds fired detonating downrange can clearly be heard. Truncated here, but the first detonation downrange can be heard around 18 seconds after the 40mm grenade mortar is fired. The second detonation follows around 8 seconds later. The exact velocity of the grenade fired is unknown, though in another video it's estimated that the maximum range of the mortar is around 2000 meters. In a pair of videos posted on the 3rd of May, we get a closer look at the weapon, and a member of the unit explains the principle behind how it works. The tube has a pair of parallel cuts to allow the steel barrel sleeve to be removed. The video shows a pair of small mortars and also shows the rifling inside the sleeve. The sleeve appears to have approximately 16 rifling grooves and on its exterior are three rings cut into the top end of its outer surface to aid in removing it from the mortar tube. Finally, in a video posted on the 9th of May, we can clearly see the mortar fired a number of times. The operators can also be seen loading the 40mm grenades into the rifle barrel sleeves. One man loads three tubes while another fires the mortar. The spent grenade cases are removed with the aid of a metal ramrod. The 40mm grenades which appear in the video are high velocity 40mm grenades of the type used oh, with the Mark 19 grenade launcher. With the video being low resolution it's difficult to make out exactly what type of grenade is being used but it appears to be a high explosive dual purpose round. So, what is the small mortar for? Why not use the unit's Mark 19 grenade launcher? My initial theory was that the barrel sleeve might provide an increase in range over the Mark 19, though the 2000 meter range mentioned in one of the videos suggests that the mortar has a range on par with the Mark 19. Another theory is that the unit's Mark 19 may be inoperable and they still have a supply of 40 mm grenades to use. The grenades are also perhaps more readily available and more cost effective than small mortar rounds. As a harassment weapon, the small mortar seems to have potential, allowing its operator to fire from cover while being very lightweight and allowing it to shift firing positions quickly. The accuracy of the weapon is difficult to gauge, but with the aid of an observation drone, rounds could be effectively walked into the vicinity of a target. Thanks for watching guys, as always I hope you found this interesting. Don't forget to check out our playlist of all of our videos looking at the weapons used in the war in Ukraine. Check out armorersbench.com for more information and the accompanying article for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. 
please do consider supporting us via Patreon. We have a range of perks over there to say thank you for your support, including early access to all of our videos. Thanks again for watching. Catch you next time.